Hey, this is Andrew Brown and this fall along, we're gonna take a look at issue templates and we'll try to do issue forms. I never got it working the first time I tried it, but maybe it'll work this time around. Let's go take a, a, a peek and see who would might have some existing uh, issue templates. I know Rails does, but the thing is Rails is such an old um, or mature <laughs> product that they've had this template, this issues template file in here forever and they don't have it in the uh, the place where you expect it to be. So it would be in the doc GitHub folder, but it's right here. They don't have a a um, a folder of them. So this is actually the old way. So they say, you're using an old version of the issue template, use the new way of doing it. So that's not recommended anymore, okay? But um, a, maybe a better project might be like Forum. Uh, if Forum's still around and kicking. Because I feel like they would utilize this. And if we go over to our issues, Let's say I wanted to make a new issue. We have um, this one. This one looks like a template. Okay, so maybe this is a template that they're using and we have that format there. And we might just steal this so we can save some time later on. So I'm gonna leave this tab open. I just don't feel like making a new one. <laughs> and if we go over to their code, let's take a look and see what they have in their GitHub folder. And in here they have issue template, and there it is. They also have a config YAML, so there's a little bit more going on there than, than I thought. Um, is, that, is this the new style? That looks like an issue form. I think that's an issue form. Okay, well maybe we'll grab both of theirs and see if we can get these both to work. But I didn't see that when we opened an issue. Let's go back here and take a look. New issue. Um, I don't see it. So I'm not 100% sure on that. But if it's a YAML file, then that's what it should be. Unless that's something else. And I'm just, maybe it's something else. I don't know. So anyway, let's go ahead and do that for our own repo. So I'm going to go here into GitHub, GitHub examples. And I'm going to actually open this up in github.dev. I can do that by hitting the period. By the way, if you hit comma, it doesn't do anything. Um, I'm just going to try that. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just convinced maybe a comma does something, it doesn't do anything. We'll hit period, and that's gonna open up github.dev. Um, oh, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna do that. Hold on, let's close that out. Maybe comma does do something, I'll have to check that again. So we'll go here, and I want to go onto the left-hand side, and we're gonna make a new folder here. We're gonna call this dot .git ignore, or sorry, dot .git ignore, dot .git hub. <laughs> That's a file, that's not a folder. Let's try that again. We'll say new folder dot GitHub. And then inside of that, we'll make a new folder, call it issue template. Is that what it's supposed to be called? Issue template, yeah. And then I'll make a new one in here and we'll say, um, I'm trying to think of something, secret. We'll call this secret MD and I mean, I said I was gonna copy this. I guess we don't really need to, we can just make our own. And I'm just gonna put anything in here. So I'll just say, welcome to the secret uh, submissions. Submit to secrets. Okay. I don't know if that's a thing. I'm just gonna put cool here. I think that should render out because that's, uh, that's something there. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this. Commit or add issue template. Go ahead and commit and pull. Good. I want to go back to this repo. So I'll open another tab here. And if I go and open an issue, do we have it? Mm, it didn't show us uh, options. Must have done something wrong. Let's go back here. Dot GitHub issue template dot github issue template. I made an MD file, yeah. I don't understand. It looks right to me. Okay, so we'll go back over here. Maybe we got something wrong, that's okay. And we'll rename this. I mean, I don't think so. secret.md. What if we um, refresh the page? I'm just gonna do a hard refresh here. I just don't trust it. 
new issue. We're not seeing issue templates. Okay. Let's go to our settings. Well, hold on. Is this repo private or public? Because that could matter. This is a... Um, Oh, this is a private repo, I think. You cannot change the visibility of this fork. Is this public or private? No, it's it's public. Oh, I'm um I've added this here. This is not, this, this is my fork. Yeah, it is here. But it's not showing up here. Maybe it only works if it's on the, the main one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a pull request. <laughs> And uh, we're gonna just create a new one and uh, update and just say update here. I'm gonna create that one. And maybe that's gonna resolve our issue. I don't wanna get confused. No, we only have one pull request. And we'll go over to this one. I think it's because it's a fork. And so maybe it only works on the, the top level one. And we'll go ahead and we'll just merge this pull request. And now we'll take a look and see what happens. So we'll go to issues, new, new issue. No, it's not showing us anything. It's a public repo. It's in the right folder. What else does it want from me? Let's go here. Um, hmm. Yeah. What could I be doing wrong? That is a good question. Is it because this is not a community project? Okay, issue, templates, not working. This is a legacy workflow to create issue templates. We recommend using the upgraded issue template builder. Okay, if you use a legacy workflow to manually do that, well, let's click on that. Create an issue template. You can create an issue template as an issue template subdirectory. Uh, in any of the supported folders to contain multiple issues. So it could be in s multiple folders. Okay. Dot GitHub. I swear I've done this before. To make an issue template uh, visible in the repository, do this. Commit the changes. I'm like going crazy here because I definitely I made it. Um, and use the template query parameter to specify the template that will fill the issue body. Okay. Do we need maybe a, um, a, like maybe we need a YAML file. Let's go back over to form. Mm, I don't think so. Do we need some front matter maybe in the, yeah, that might be something we need in the, in the file here. Yeah. Okay. You know what we're missing? We're just missing some front matter. That's what it is. That's what it is. Okay. So I'm going to go back over to this one, I guess. And what we need is some front matter in here and that's why it's not working. Front matter is um, is this, it can go into YAML files, I think, or maybe not, maybe markdown files. And this is like YAML stuff you put at the top here. So I'll just say secret, secret, uh, secret issue. Submits a secret. Um, and I think the idea here is you can automatically assign labels. So maybe we have like a secret label. We'll have to make a label for that because we don't have one. Uh, I want to go back to, oh, let's use that command. I'm going to do control K. There we go. I love this. And I'm going to type in um, examples. It's just like a fast way to navigate to stuff. I got to remember to do that more. Um, and we want to make a new label over here. I'm going to call this one secret. I'm on the wrong repo. <laughs> Control K. Uh, I'm going to try this again. Example. I want mine. Why is it only showing this one? All right. Well, I guess that feature is not as great as I thought it was. But we'll go over here and I'll go to issues and then I'll go to labels and I'll add a new one called secret. And choose something crazy, maybe that. Okay, so there's our new secret. 
I don't need any assigned these. We'll leave that blank. We'll save that. Update issue template. Commit and push. We'll go back over here. And now we go to issues and we say new issue. There we go. Now what's interesting is that we weren't getting those three default ones, which I'm really surprised. We go to edit templates. Okay, they go there, but they usually have like a builder. I remember them having a builder before and I don't know where it is now. So that's really interesting. Hmm. Well, we can go back to the other one. Like this works. I'm sure this works. We fill it in. There it is. But what I'm surprised is we don't have those three default ones there. And I know again on the exam, they showed that. And I could have swore that they would have set you up with that. But maybe if it only happens that this is a community project, which again, I'm not even sure how to uh, set that up. Um, I kind of forget. So a place to set community project, community project. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, insights, community. Oh, here it is. To enable discussions, uh, enable discussions to unlock community insights. Okay, sure, we'll enable that. I don't really wanna enable that right now, but maybe that's what would bring those issues in later. We can go check. I'm just, again, I just wanna see why I can't see those default ones. And we'll go here and we'll go back to this repo. Uh, GitHub, examples, and well, first I just wanna open an issue over here. No templates, fine. Let's go over to community again. Issue templates, add, what if we click it here? Okay, so this is where the builder is. It's weird that um, it didn't show another place. Okay, so here's some, a couple of the default ones. So we can go here and do this. And then there's custom template. So maybe these are the three ones because I said the other one was like vulnerability one, but maybe it's these three because it was trying to ask you like, what were the default ones that were there? So I think maybe I was wrong <laughs> in that slide and it's really custom template. We'll go ahead and we'll just propose those changes and say continue. And now if we go over to issues. All right, that looks fine. I wonder how they got a the little icon there. Maybe there's some way to do that. Now we can edit the templates over here. Not really though. I thought we could do a little bit more there, but we now have uh, those in here, secrets in here as well. But of course this one doesn't have a front matter and that's why it's not working. We're gonna go back and switch over to our old one here. And um, what I wanna do is I want to try to get that issue form working because I've never gotten one of those working before. So I'm gonna look up issue form and I wanna just give it another go on GitHub here, issue form. I'm just looking for an example one. So here's an example of one. I'm gonna grab this whole one here. I'll copy it. I'm gonna go back over to here and I'm gonna make uh, a new one. We'll just call this one extra MD. It's actually uh, YAML. Okay, we'll paste this in, we'll save it. And we'll just say extra bug report at the top so it can distinguish it from the other one. And We'll go ahead and commit this. Try and add an issue form. Like I like the idea of issue forms, but uh, you know, again, beta feature. So why why is it an exam? Um, and we'll see if we can get this to work. This was committed on this one here, so I'm going to go back over to uh, uh, this one. Come on, <laughs> let me. I have like a, my, my mouse is sticking. That's why I'm getting a double click, okay? And actually I'm in the account that I wanna be. I'm just trying to get to that repo again. So we'll click over here and we'll go back into ours. And now we'll go to issues. And I wanna see if that other one shows up. It does, okay, finally. And now we actually have those fields. So that's pretty nice. Um, before I had like the hardest time getting this to work, but now it's working no problem. So I think that covers it for issue forms and issue templates, and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.